At E3 2009, Nintendo officially unveiled New Super Mario Bros. Wii, or as they put it, New Super Mario Bros. for Wii. That really confused me at the time. Using the term 4 implied it was literally the DS game, but on the Wii. But nope, it was a whole new game, and now, for the first time, four-player simultaneous multiplayer. It was always a disappointment to play Super Mario Bros. with a friend, hit two-player, and realize that the game only allowed you to play after the other player dies. Nope, now you can all play at the same time. Of course, you can play as Mario and Luigi, but Nintendo apparently held a poll within the company to figure out what would be the lamest possible choices for a third and fourth player character, and they came back with a yellow and blue toad. I mean, sure, it makes sense. You have the four playable characters classified under four separate distinct colors. But at that point, you may ask, well, why not make the other two characters Wario and Waluigi? That would be kind of cute and cool. But then you remember, no, they're bad guys. Nintendo can't possibly come up with a clever reason as to why Wario and Waluigi would help out Mario and Luigi. Yeah, if you haven't already noticed, Nintendo isn't too keen on giving these games interesting setups or even just clever ones. They always start off with the gang just hanging out and then bam, terrorism. Now the seven Koopalings are back, the same guys from Super Mario Bros. 3 and World. Nowadays, they're often considered to be the culmination of laziness. Instead of designing something new or doing something interesting with the story or boss battle here, they're just throwing a Koopaling. But back then, it was really cool to see these characters brought back and as 3D models, redesigned for the modern era. The world map is much larger and more detailed, in fact, that's pretty much descriptive of the entire game. It's the same general formula from the DS entry, but expanded upon. Due to now having support for more players, being on a bigger widescreen display, and having power-ups that allow for vertical movement, New Super Mario Bros. Wii features a camera that's pulled farther back and larger levels in general. Graphically, the game received a pretty solid transition from DS to Wii. Of course, everything is much smoother, we have better animations, the works. It's disappointing that they didn't really take full advantage of the leap to a home console, though. Not a ton about this game feels like it couldn't have been done on the DS. The art style is the same, the world design is the same, the overall aesthetic is the exact same. It just has higher quality models and assets and is running at a higher resolution. It's disappointing, but it was the first 2D Mario console game in about two decades. It's understandable to keep things a bit generic. Same goes with the soundtrack. We got some new tunes, but it still gives off the same vibe as the DS game. Bouncy, bubbly, generic Mario songs. That's not to say they aren't solid tracks again, but there's nothing that really resonates with me here. Except for the final boss theme, I really like that. Gameplay-wise, it's new Super Mario Brothers on the Wii, except now you can spin jump by shaking the Wii Remote. I gotta say, I hate shaking the Wii Remote for this action. It just never felt responsive to me, and yeah, I think it's wholeheartedly a me thing. I know many others are perfectly fine with it. I just don't like it. The game is primarily played with the Wii Remote on its side, but halfway through, I tried it out with the Wii Remote and Nunchuck, and I gotta say, I think I prefer this control method. Shaking the entire controller to spin was never super intuitive to me, so splitting it up like this feels way better. Star coins return, but now you just collect them all to gain access to extra levels after beating the game. Yoshi makes a triumphant return, and he's good fun and all, but you can't bring him with you after being a level, and yikes, how lame. Power-ups here are far better than the DS entry in my opinion. The only power-up from that game to make a return is the mini mushroom, and alongside the mainstay mushroom, fire flower, and star, we have three new ones. The propeller mushroom allows for vertical ascension and crazy quick descension. This one's pretty good. It's not amazing or anything, but I like it. The ice flower, the exact same idea as the fire flower, but you freeze things, and I can't believe it took them this long to implement a power-up like this. Sure, it appeared in Super Mario Galaxy, but its functionality in this game is different and great. It actually has advantages and disadvantages compared to the fire flower and makes you think as to which one you'd rather pick up. The ice can defeat enemies like Dry Bones who couldn't normally be defeated easily, but now you have extra work. You have to throw the ice block they're frozen in to finish them off. The fire flower can't defeat enemies like Dry Bones, but can defeat most enemies much quicker. I really like having these two power-ups here as alternatives to one another, but New Super Mario Bros. Wii also introduced the Penguin Suit, and honestly, what's the point of this anymore? Think of the Penguin Suit as a much more robust and competent version of the Blue Shell. You start to slide after running, but it's way easier to control, you can swim more easily, and you can shoot ice balls just like the Ice Flower. It was just really odd to me that they included both power-ups in this game, like, why not take away the Ice Ball power from the Penguin Suit? That would've evened things out much better, the Penguin Suit was already pretty good without it. And of of course, we have multiplayer, and yes, it can be a chaotic mess. It's pretty generally agreed upon that two players works fine, anything above that gets too wacky. It's still fun though, and if you want to just F around and go straight to the multiplayer, you have a free-for-all in coin battle mode for some competitive multiplayer mayhem. And that's about it for New Super Mario Bros. Wii. It's definitely an upgrade from New Super Mario Bros., but that's all it really feels like. An upgrade. It still features the same world themes, the same art style, the same basic feel, the same presentation, so much is the same here. I really do wish they took more advantage of the Wii hardware, but like I said, with this being the first 2D Mario platformer on a home console in so long, it's passable.